everybody, welcome back to The Echo. I'm Ariana, and this is my new co-host, Emily. And we are so, so excited, excited to be back. While we are virtual, be proactive. Lean on your classmates or email your teachers if you need extra attention in any specific areas. Our plan is to be back in person learning on December 7th. Our own Panther Productions Club is sponsoring a photo gallery to share pictures taken by our talented students and staff at Wilma. If you have an interesting, unique, fun, or dramatic photo or series of photos that you would like to be displayed, please submit your best shot to be printed and displayed in our library gallery. Have you considered joining forensics? There are a wide variety of expressive categories to choose from, and this year we have a bit more anonymity as we will be recording our performances. Reach out to Mrs. Tilsner or Mr. Kehoe if you're interested. Order your yearbook now for the lowest price of the year and lock in a copy of the 2020-2021 yearbook. The Panther football team had to opt out of the Level 1 playoffs and have not played since October 23rd, Week 5, when they lost to Badger, 14-0. Our Panthers hosted Union Grove Friday at Frank Bucci Field to wrap up the season and defeated the Broncos. Thank you for your efforts this season, guys. Senior linebacker Caden Mulholland was named a finalist for the John Anderson Award, given annually to the top senior linebacker in the state as part of the WSN Senior Football Awards. Congrats, Caden, and don't forget to go vote for him on WSN.com. Speaking of sports, did you know that, that Wilmot has an esports team? Ashton Rack is going to introduce us to esports. Welcome to Wilmot's esports club. Here we compete and have fun. Let's meet a few of our competitors. We compete in the Tech Ed Lounge. Why did you join this club? Because I like to play video games. Uh, it allows me to get friends who like things about us. Well, coming here, I'm able to meet a lot of new people and form bonds with them, and we can have a competitive nature. I joined because I felt like I needed something to do, and I felt like I could relate to what was being done here. Mr. Albright is the advisor for the Wilmot Esports Club. I started this club where I agreed to be an advisor for this club because I know that there's kids out there that want a game and want to be part of the school and I think that this allows them, those that aren't exactly going to go out for the you know traditional sports of you know soccer, football, basketball, wrestling or stuff like that, this gives the kids an opportunity to compete for Wilmot and just feel like they belong to something. I joined this club because I wanted to play video games. I love video games and I wanted to know who played video games that I liked. So competing takes place over the internet against other schools. Um, the organization that we play through is the Wisconsin High School Esports Association, um, in which that there are, I think there's over 130 schools throughout the state that are competing with us amongst, it's broken down into divisions, just like any other school sport is. Um, we're considered D1 based on our school size. It's nice to see kids that I normally wouldn't see. If you look around the room with the kids in here, typically you wouldn't see these guys like together in a room, you know, normally. Um, and I know that past year's students have came in, they've played games with each other, and then they've made friendships that they still hold today outside of school once they've graduated high school. Uh, typically during the season, um, we compete in Super Smash on Tuesday nights, and then we play Overwatch on Wednesdays, and then I run an open practice Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Have a great Thanksgiving break, and we can't wait to see you back in school.